Hey everybody, my name is Faye and this is my Floss Tube channel, Fairy Floss. Um, for those of you that have not been here before, then welcome, come on in, grab a blue brew, grab your stitching, come and see what I've been up to. And for those of you who have been here already, welcome back. Thank you for coming back, that's really nice. Um, so I have got a few new subscribers this week, so I'm just going to say hi to the you people. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining in, seeing what I'm up to, and um, come on board. Let's see what's been going on. So, um, it's been a relatively busy week. Um, I've still not got my laptop fixed, therefore I'm still trying to work this um, Mac, which I've got no idea what I'm doing, um, but <laughs> hey-ho. Um, so, yeah, I can never quite figure out where the camera angle is, where I'm supposed to be looking. If I lift up that arm, then that arm shows on the thing, and it's so confusing. But, you know, that kind of thing is live in it really so not to worry um so i have been doing quite a bit of festive stitching we are nearly in december and there's not much else to do at the moment um if you're not aware uk is back on a second lockdown we are in lockdown till the 2nd of december i think it is and it's a bit of a weird lockdown this time basically everything's short but not everything's short so the schools are still open, so I'm still in work. But then the restaurants aren't open, the cafes aren't open, even though they were fully social distanced beforehand. Like, there's, so there's nothing to do at the weekend. Yet yeah, I went into town yesterday, not town town, but my local town. Poundland was still open and um, Robert Dias was still open. I was thinking, but they're not essential shops, really. Do you really need to go to Poundland and buy bubbles and things? No. Um, so it's a bit of a weird concept of what is open what's not open at the moment so um yeah that is the way it is here um in the uk so anyway let's talk about stitching because that's what we're really here for isn't it so my first little project is the stitch along from the um cross stitcher magazine and i am now halfway through part two um, i'm just going to get something white to go behind everything I'm doing. There we go. I'm now behind. I'm now up to part two and that's what it looks I never know where to put the camera. That's what it looks like so far. Um so I finished this little strip here and then I'm into the middle bit now so this ginormous Christmas tree. I've done my bunting and um, yeah, I really like this. It's so intricate. Um, for a cover kit, you learn so much from it. Um, you get so much out of it. There's beads, there's um, little stockings you get to make at the end. Um, there's lots of different stitches. I think I think there are some specialty stitches going to happen um, towards the end of this. But um, yeah, there's so many nice things going on. I love the colour scheme for Christmas. It's quite a um, modern take on the Christmas colour scheme, which I really like. And um, it's just a lot of fun, actually. It's just a nice, quick piece to pick up every now and again and just add a little bit more to. So the plan is to get this finished for the 1st of December so it can go up with all my Christmas decorations. And then anything else I manage to do this year is a bonus. Now, I've just said to you I'm doing loads of Christmas stitching. No, I'm not. That was that was my Christmas stitching. Um, so the second thing I've been doing is a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more of dew drops, but I will share with you because uh, otherwise I won't have much to share with you. Um, so let me get my piece of paper back out again. And dew drops is a Nora Corbett. Um, it's a smaller one, but it's quite, still quite a nice, big, fat, challenging one. And I have done. A little bit more of the green around the side so oh, I don't think you can get the sparkle or oh, we can from there a little bit um, so this is not opaque what's it called when the um, Ada sparkles it's sparkly Ada anyway totally can't remember um, so it does sparkle and the color scheme is gorgeous it's like full-on watercolory all the colors that I like to use that blend really nice together, blues and greens, um, 
there's yellows in it as well eventually in the wings and it's really pretty so I'm doing a tiny bit of that each week but it to be honest I need good lighting for it um it's not very easy to do on the sparkly irid iridescent that's what the word I was looking for I think um it's not very easy to do on the sparkly Ada during the night so um I only do a tiny bit and then I just pick up things which are much more easier to see. And I get this out at the weekend normally. Though I've not really touched much of it this weekend. Um, my next project, which I am ploughing through quite nicely, is Lindy Stitch's um, We Three. And I adore this. Very big Macbeth fan. Um, oh, I, oh, no. I've just, because I'm not using a needle miner because I'm too lazy to dig them out. I've just stitched and random stitch into my work. So let's just pull the needle out properly. And here I am on this one. So I think last week I'd just done the top bit and no cats. So now I'm halfway through cat number two. And then I've just got cat number three and a nice little bit at the bottom to finish. And yeah, I'm nearly there. Um, I am hoping to finish this one this week. And then that would be kind of my autumnal pieces out of the way for this year. Um, I'm not sure how to finish it yet. I've got lots of ideas. Um, it is going to go on my bookshelf. It's going to be part of my little literary collection. I've got like quite a few pieces that are linked to books. I've got the four bothy threads collection of Jane Austen, Dickens, Shakespeare and the Brontes which I'm part way through the Brontes now, I haven't got very far um, I've got this, I've got um, a Wind in the Willows piece as well that I showed the other week that I need to start and I've got a Gruffalo as well so I am going to make a little sort of collection of literature related um, cross stitching because uh, well, partly because that's my love partly I'm a librarian I'm doing an MA in um, children's literature at the moment it all links together and it's just fun and it'll look really nice I just think it'd really complement my book my ever-growing bookshelves Um, I'd love to give you a bookshelf tour but I need two new bookshelves oh um, I don't really have shelves at the moment I'm just piled up everywhere so um I do need to really sort out all the books that I've got and buy some more bookshelves. When I do, we'll have a tour, most definitely. I would love to share my favourite children's books with you. Um, actually, before I move on, I was thinking the other day, I'd quite like to do a Stitch With Me video. I've been watching other people's and I do like them. Um, and But I'm wondering, how do I set it up? How do I get the camera over me to watch me stitch? Um, but also, what do I talk about? And then I was, oh, hi, Molly. And then I was thinking, maybe I could talk about my favourite children's books and um, why I like them. Please, in the comments below, if I do do a stitch with me for my first one, will you tell me what you'd like me to talk about <laughs> and give me an idea? So I know that if I do do a stitch with me, which I might do, um, then... I've got an idea of what I actually need to speak about. Um, okay, so I have also got hide this, a new start. Um, now this is one of my Christmas presents for somebody, but I think I can show you because I don't think that person will be coming onto my YouTube anytime soon. But what I will do is not put it on Instagram as a finish until after Christmas. Um, so this is a little Mill Hill kit. I've got a few little Mill Hill kits up and running for Christmas. And this is Tuscan Cottage from the Spring Bouquet Collection. It's so nice, really sweet. So I've just kitted that up this afternoon. Um, if you wonder why I needed to kit up, a kit so small. Let me show you the palette that they give you. Okay, I've made my own thread holder because life's too short to spend money on that kind of thing. But um, look how similar some of the colours are. So you've got um, uh, three golds. You've got light gold, medium gold, dark gold. 
Then you've got two rusts. You've got dark rust, orange rust. Then you've got three greens, dark green, medium green, light green. And then you've got a brown and a dark brown. So there's a lot of very similar colours going on. So me and my boyfriend have just been sat down or oh, something quite therapeutic about this, isn't it? Um, I've just been sit, sat down for about 10 minutes <laughs> trying to figure out which one was which. I think we've got it right. We're pretty sure we've got it right. So um, this is what I'm working on now for somebody. I'm not going to say who in case they do manage to get on the video. And I'll have to put it behind me. This is as far as I've got. I mean, I only started it like an hour and a half ago. So it is, it's so cute. It's tiny. It is really, really sweet. And actually, I may do it twice. I might make myself one afterwards. I think they are pretty generous with the beading, well, the beads in um, Mill Hill kits. It's got a really sweet little butterfly treasure. I'm sure I'll be able to find another little butterfly somewhere. And... I reckon I might have enough beads to do it twice and if not I can just buy the beads again and um, put it all together again but yeah so that is my new start this week I am going to be doing quite a lot of Christmassy things now so I think I'll try and get the mirror not the mirabilia the um, Nora Corbett out a little bit but at the same time I'm going to be doing Christmassy things that are presents that I might not be able to show you on here but then I'll also be doing Christmassy ornaments for myself because I keep choosing things for me um, as well as other people so yeah I'll talk a bit more about my Christmas plans in a second uh, well in a few minutes but next I'm going to show you a really really exciting whip because this whip has not been stitched by me. This last week, um, I decided because my boyfriend's been teaching me how to draw and how to paint. Um, I said, well, it's only fair that I teach you how to stitch. And it's took from the start of lockdown for us to actually make it this far. But um, he found a pattern he really, really liked in the Just Cross Stitch um, Christmas um, ornaments book. And he's chosen, I'll hide the chart, he's, let me say, see I tell you, I, I'm rubbish with the map. And he has chosen this really cute little grumpy um, cat chart with a little tiny Christmas tree, these little silly mice. And let me show you his progress, because he's doing so well. And this is his pro progress so far. We've got the feet, the back end of the cat, and the Christmas tree underneath. And I think, for a first time stitcher, it is looking so neat, so tidy. He's spending so much time on it. It actually makes me look quite lazy. When I'm sat next to him stitching my things, I'm just like... <laughs> and then I look how neat his crosses are, and I'm thinking, God, I should probably slow down a bit and maybe think about making mine a bit neater as well so yeah I'm so happy it's so cool and yeah we're just spending the evening stitching together at the moment which is super it's really nice um he does owe me a watercolor lesson that we will get on with at some point as well so it's really nice a bit of skill sharing um and we're having a lovely time stitching together so yeah I should be able to bring you this back next week and show you our next bit of progress so, um, that is now going to bring me onto some haul. So, um, I have been purchasing not loads of stuff, but I keep popping onto um, eBay and seeing what's floating about. And thought I might get a magazine. Let's uh, so have a flick through some magazines. So I thought I'll have a look. I've never had, never bought a cross stitch gold before, um, partly because. I never used to do big projects. I used to stick to small things that I finished quicker. But now since, you know, being exposed to floss tube and all these Facebook groups and realising that having more than one whip was actually a thing, um, I have decided that I do, uh, I do like starting big projects and working on them. So I picked up this um, copy of cross stitch gold for about two pound um what drew me to it was the fairy pattern on the front which i'll try and find there's only about 
five patterns in these magazines which are, shouldn't be too hard to find but yeah it's a Leslie tear and I think that's gorgeous I think on that fabric though I'd probably use um an opalescent fabric um I think that's absolutely gorgeous um and I'm very tempted to stitch it and I don't know if I'd stitch it for me or to gift it to somebody else yet but yeah I really like it so I am actually gonna one day <laughs> not yet but enough to do at the moment um one day kit that up I think so yeah that's gonna go into my little magazine collection um and then the next brilliant thing I managed to pick up from um what's it called eBay was this is amazing you might have seen this on my Instagram this week um a gorgeous 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 just nan charts called high hopes and it has got a little cat looking at a garden gate there's a little fountain a little bird house birds a nest lots of little pretty flowers just totally sums me up i mean cats and birds and flowers are my thing and it's got the most gorgeous it's gonna crinkle sorry tiny weenie i'm gonna get it out of the packet um she says i've not actually took this out of the packet yet so oh it's beautiful it's got the most tiny little can i see you so my ginormous fingers are taking over there we go i think that might work <laughs> oh my god so it's miss out it's the camera angles i cannot for the life of me figure out how to show you this with the ca weird camera angles that I'm looking at. I'll just put it there, sorry. I'm probably going to make you all seasick doing this. So. And it is a tiny little bird in a little bird bath and it goes in the centre of this gorgeous piece and it's just, it's got quite a lot of colours. Uh, it's quite a long colour list at the back, so that'll be fun to um, kit up. And um, it's got a few little speciality stitches in it as well. And some of the things are one over one, so there's like, it's stitched on linen or even weave. And there's a ladybird that is one over one. And the hedgehog's face is also one over one. So it's super detailed. There's lots of little um, extras in there to do. So I'm really excited about doing that actually. So that is going to be one of my spring starts. Um, my spring start so far is this and the gorgeous um, Duran Jones Sunflower Far, oh, I don't know, can't remember what it's called. The gorgeous one that Natalie Love It Live It Make It Yours um, got me as a gift, which I showed in a previous kit. So they'll all come out in the new year. And um, Oh My Grieve as well will be coming out in the new year. So there'll be lots of nature in the new year. Lots of colours, lots of nature. Um, I really like doing stitching flowers, painting flowers. Um, I live in a flat. I live in a second floor flat and we have a little balcony. But we don't have a garden space. And I would absolutely love a little garden. But we don't at the moment. Um, we're in the middle of London. It's not a common thing to have a garden. But I have been buying a lot of houseplants. So in the kitchen now I've got a really pretty selection of houseplants. And the plan is to actually start buying plants for other rooms in the house as well. And next spring we're going to really sort out the balcony again and make it like a really nice um, plant well, floral area. Um, I want to get some herbs and things that we can actually use in the kitchen as well. Um, so if you've got any advice, if you know any good YouTubers to follow about making suitable gardens in your tiny flat if that is a thing then please let me know in the comments below please tell me and i shall do my best to follow them and finally um well finally for haul anyway is my um two new little mill hill kits so one is a gift as well and um, i've highly doubt these people will be watching my channel so I will show you this one it is if you can see through the glare the Christmas Eve by um, Mill Hill 
which is very sweet. So as soon as I finish Tuscan Cottage, I'll be straight on to this one. If I get that one finished, then this one, Winter Feast, that's for me because it's gorgeous and I love my birds and um, I'd like to put food out for the birds, but we've got a cat, so there's absolutely no way um, that would work. So um, yeah, this is my little bird table now. So um, if I get all my other Mill Hills for everybody else finished, then I should get onto that one. So let's talk plans and see where we're up to. Um, so for the next few weeks now, I aim to finish the Wii 3 and then I've got the sample to do, my little presents to do and then yeah I've got a few um, things in the, what's it, the Just Cross Stitch, what is it called, is it called Just Cross Stitch, yeah, the Just Cross Stitch holiday issue, now this only arrived a couple of weeks ago but I know there's a few little things that I really fancy doing so well, let me just find that paper again so I can hide the charts. Um, okay. These little penguins, ice skating I love, with Lamar. Um, and also, there's a really pretty tree as well, which I really fancy doing. Oh, and there's a Lindy Stitches in here, which I'm going to do. Most definitely. Um, it's on the front cover, so I totally can't find it inside. But there's a little snow globe Christmas. See, I cannot use this computer. There we go. That little snow globe Christmas tree there in the middle. And there's a, yeah, there's a few things I want to do. I don't know if I'll get them all done this year. I'm going to kit them up for some. December starts. If I finish them this year, I finish them. If not, I'll carry them over till next year because you'll never have too many Christmas decorations in your life, will you? So yeah, that is my Christmassy plans. So we've had quite a nice festive day today. We've made the Christmas cake. It's in the oven. It should be coming out in about, let's have a look, oh, soon, about 10 minutes, I think. Um, We'll try a prick it, see if it sticks. If it doesn't, then it'll be ready to go. Um, so I'll put a load, of, a load of brandy in it, stick it in the cupboard, fill it up with brandy every week and then um, me and my boyfriend try and do a bit of a showstopper with our Christmas cake. So this will be the third one we've made. Um, I, I could share my pictures on Instagram actually if I can dig them out. Um, they're on my, one of them's on my private Instagram, not my private one, my um, personal Instagram from last year. So I made one in 2019 and I think the first one we did was either 20... 13 or 2014 and we had a bit of a break and then we made one last year so we've got to do it again this year so we have to put our plans together and decide what's going to go on top of it what we're going to um create out of icing sugar and just be crazy really um in the latest issue of cross stitch there was a really cute strip to go around your christmas cake um but i just don't have time to make that this year but i'm very tempted to do it for next year's christmas cake um so yeah it's even though the weather has been absolutely atrocious this weekend, um, we've been out, we've been and bought some festive bits. We've got a bag now of all our Christmas chocolates and things that we buy. We top it up. Every time we go out, we buy something Christmassy. So when it gets to December, we've already got a pile of Christmassy bits to enjoy, um, which is fun. Um, my advent calendar arrived off my... Um, Advent Exchange partner, I posted hers, she got hers yesterday, so that'll be quite exciting on the 1st of December. Um, I must say, I've not been feeling very ready for Christmas, very Christmassy, um, partly because I don't know where I'm spending it, if I'm down here, if we'll be able to go and see family. Um, I've only seen my family once this year, which, because of the pandemic, which is really rubbish, and the thought of having to go, going to see them the same time that the rest of the country is moving across the country is not going to be a fun experience either so we just we have no idea what's going to happen um so i'm just going to try to take it as it comes but i've got a lot of stress on i've got my masters work is absolutely hectic um went to morrison's today used my 
10% discount for working in a school. If you work in a school, then at the moment Morrisons are giving 10% discount for you. You just have to show your work card, which I think is absolutely wonderful. Um, and I, I'm very grateful that they're doing that. Um, because actually, I'll be, I'll be quite honest. If you work in a school right now, you're amazing. I don't think people realise what teachers and support staff are dealing with at the moment and of course the media always gives teachers bad press you know we get all these weeks off a year so you know lockdown was an extra holiday you know? and actually it is so hectic and difficult at the moment it is non-stop we're working longer days we're staggering lessons we're splitting times we've got children that haven't been in school for six months and we've got a lot of them as well and it's it's something I, I mean, I've been in education for 14 years and it's never, ever felt like this before. So if you do have a friend that's a teacher or works in a school as a support staff, administrative staff, actually, just pop around and give them a bottle of wine and say, are you all right? And they'll really appreciate it. They will. Um, so yeah, that, that's my political thought of the day if that's as political as I get to be honest um so yeah I think that's all I can share um stitchy kindness I've actually how many flush tubes have I watched this week have I watched much um sorry my screensaver keeps coming on I don't know how to switch up um I've been watching a bit of Gail Stitch with me um, so Gail Phillips from Australia is absolutely brilliant. Um, Dizzy Stitcher has finally finished his amazing um, Deers of, what was it called? Deers of Willow Creek, I think it's called, I'm not sure. So well done to him, that's absolutely awesome. Um, it's been amazing watching somebody stitch a hate and watch them do it every week, even though I've not got around to doing Hayes yet, to watch somebody else progress on them every week. Um, it's so cool. I might go back to one of his first videos to see where he was at the beginning and how it's developed. Mate, it um, be good if he does a time lapse. I wonder if he will do. That'd be quite cool. Um, I'll message him. And yeah, it's been great. And he's getting very festive as well now. And that made me a bit cheerier. I was thinking, okay, maybe I should do some Christmassy bits. Um, so yeah, that is my plan. To just keep plodding on with the Christmas stuff. Um, we've got loads of lovely things prepared for the spring. Um, maybe in a different video, um, I'll talk my spring to all my 2021 plans. Um, I've got such a stash now. I've got so many things that need stitching. Um, I need to start cracking on with them. Um, I'm ho I really don't want to have just too much stuff that's been unstitched. I just want to be able to work through piles and then next but and then go out and treat myself to more rather than just be like a willy-nilly 800 whip stitcher so um this has been a very long video for me i never go on to nearly half an hour but hey ho i had a lot to say and a lot, fair bit to show as well so i hope you enjoyed watching if you did then um please give me a like please subscribe um i'd love to hit my next target which is 250 subscribers i've hit 150 now which is awesome um it's it's took it's taken a while um it's really a marathon and not a sprint this whole getting subscribers thing on floss tube i tell you but i don't mind i'm just happy that you're here and you're watching me and um yeah, please subscribe and let me know in the comments below what you would like to see, if you'd like anything festive to happen, um, share with me what you're doing for Christmas as well and um, I think that's all I have to share with you this week. So keep smiling, keep stitching and I shall see you next Sunday.